45 degrees and these guys are going crazy. One has yellow pollen, light yellow, one has like a orangey yellow, one has beige yellow. And I see two houses from me. What I think is a peach tree that's blooming. It is like two months too early for peaches to bloom. But these bees don't know otherwise and the weather by all accounts seems like it's spring but it's not. In fact we're gonna get some cold weather here coming up in about a week so all the buds are gonna die if we do get that cold weather. It's horrible for the trees and the bees. It They start making brood like crazy and then they end up starving so all you can do is feed them pollen and these guys certainly have enough syrup but I could see them being short on pollen. I'll have to do a full inspection on these guys. They, uh, they've got enough forces where they can seal up the gaps that I will create. Uh, this phone sucks. Alright, this is almost funny, but when there's nectar out and about, bees won't go for syrup. And this is straight sugar water with red goodness in it. Not really. Red goodness, just dye. Sometimes I add Kool-Aid, but right here... This four gallon tub has less traffic in it than a hive I have just near here. So the bees prefer nectar over cane sugar, which this is just basically cane sugar. So I think there's nectar out and about and there's certainly pollen I saw like three or four different colors of pollen and um, they'll finish this though I'm pretty sure and we're gonna get cold weather and it's gonna kill all the budding stuff so I'm not worried about this tub going to waste at the least I can add some thymol to it and that'll preserve it also it protects kills trachea mites wouldn't hurt to uh, give them a blast of uh, thymol with uh, syrup to kill the tracheal mites. I haven't done that in a while. I should do that. Although, good God, it makes the syrup taste awful. Can't imagine that makes the honey taste. But uh, that's the reason for dyeing it, too. I won't eat the dyed. I'll eat it, but I won't give it away. It's just for me.